All right, so Julie has had a catastrophic fail on her sled here. So you'll see this broke off. You've got the ends here. So we're going to have to make some adjustments. Obviously a new sled is in order. I think she's going to be picking up a jet sled like what I have. I thought I would share with you my old setup for these poles because it really did not work well. Um, I had these eye poles and as you see, I have this little nut on the end of it to keep it from like tearing up my clothing. However, it didn't do anything about this end, which is another reason why I wanna put these end caps on here. Um, I have my favorite wool shirt, Smart Wool. You know it's expensive and it uh, has a nice big hole in it from the last time I took this out. So another reason to make a modification to my poles. This is my old belt, and as you can see, the D-rings are up on top. And when you have a carbineer, carabiner, whatever, under um, hooked up here, it allows the poles to hit you like right here in the back, lower back. And it is very uncomfortable, especially when you're going downhill. So I looked into something because modifying this, I mean, I could have poked some holes in the side, but I don't think that would have been the best option. So I went online and I found this. And it's much wider, it has some good padding, and the best part is these rings will hit me on the side rather than in the center of my back. So it has a um, belt here that would be relatively easy to take off in the event of an emergency. So this is what I'm gonna go with. I'll show you what it looks like when it's all hooked up later is that I have my mount points for my um, poles right here, and that's worked out okay. I'm a little worried about when you have a lot of gear and that you're putting torque on these when you're like going on the a side of a hill, it's gonna really pull on these, and I'm worried about the a, the plastic, um, although I don't think it would, it's, it's a pretty heavy gauge plastic. Um, I just I worry about that failing and that would really suck having to go collect all my gear from the bottom of the mountain, right? So we're going to work on putting our attachments um, to the front here. You're going to put one here and one here. And so we'll show you what we're going to do with that in just a bit. All right, so this is my hardware setup. And um, yes, I'm anal retentive on uh, <laughs> having everything organized. So these end, these end caps are gonna go on the end of these poles. Before I do that, I'm gonna drill a hole in the center and I'm going to insert my eye bolt with a washer and a lock nut. And then they will be glued onto the end cap that, or onto the end of the pipes that will be on both sides. Um, these lovely items are to connect the eye bolts to the poles. So what I'll do is I will insert this like so. And hook that on. Yeah, ow. Okay, that hurt. And this will be the end of my pole here. So this will be attached to the area right here, as you can see, that I have um, already marked off where I'm going to drill the holes to attach these. There'll be one on each side, like so. And then um, these are all of the washers, um, nuts, and bolts that I'll be using to attach those. So Let's get to work. So my next step is to drill these holes um, that I've used the tape as a template and these are going to be attached. Let's hope I don't drill a finger off, right? <laughs> Okay, so right now I'm going to put this on here. So I have to go through this a couple of ways. The first is to tighten this lock nut on here and break her table. <laughs> so the finished, pro finished project is this. Yay, I know it's kind of dirty looking, ew. I have to clean that up. Anyway, this is what you see inside. Yay! 
So now you see we have some beautifully clean end caps for the poles. So, and you can see a little bit better here. The lock nuts are in, the washers are in, and they're ready to be glued to the sticks. And you can see that the brackets are now bolted in and I have the ends here. So in order to take the pole, this is where the poles will go. Time to get cracking on this sled and get it done. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, show you a couple things that I didn't show in the previous video. So one of them was the little attachments or the attachments that I'm using to the front where I'm using these D-rings. Um, so what these are, these are little like wheel housings that you use for like putting under furniture or something you wanna roll around. So I'm taking these off, these screws off. Um, I'm not gonna show that it's you know and then i will attach those to the sled to the front um i did show that before i'm going to show it again because i'm building sled number two um if you don't do it right the first time you do it again right okay so um the other thing i'm going to do is i'm going to dip these uh little caps here in this plastic dip um performix plastic dip sorry for the glare uh, but this stuff is going to help with uh, eliminating some of the clanking that goes on. I hate that noise. I want to hear nature. I don't want to hear this lead dragon behind me because then it reminds me how heavy it is, right? So um, I'm using these wires here. I'm going to dip them and then they have to dry um, hanging somewhere. So I'm going to do that off of my desk over here. Um, yeah, I don't have a workshop. I got to make do. So um, I'll do that. Then I'm going to be adding all of these um, uh, eye bolts to the top of the sled so that I can attach uh, whatever I want to tie down my load. So I'm also going to show you how I do that um, either in this video or in a following video. So, but I decided I'm going to paint these. I don't know why, just because I don't like looking at all this garbage on here. So I'm gonna be using this uh, Performix plastic dip spray. I hope it works. Um, I'm gonna go put it outside and see see if how it does. Um, so then I will have black poles. I don't know why yellow is the only color I could find at the Home Depot. So I'm gonna go with yellow end caps. Yay, I guess I won't lose them in the snow. Um, these are kind of hard to find in the snow, duh. So that's why I wanna paint them another reason. All right, I thought I would show you what I'm doing or why I'm straight, how I'm stringing these. So I have this um, landscaping wire here and I'm gonna be using this to attach to my bolt here or my end cap. So all you do is you take this twisted around um, one of the threads and then twist it so it doesn't come off. And that's what I'm going to use to hang my cap after I dip it. Well, I have a bit of a surprise. When I opened up my can of Performix plastic dip, it is, let me see if I can show this, it's black, Woohoo! I was kind of worried about it being black and yellow. That would look like a bumblebee. Hmm. So I'm gonna keep these. Um, these are what I used for my old attachments for the poles. Um, they're very secure, so I want to go ahead and use those to use uh, so I can hold the load down with bungee cord or whatever it is I decide to use. Um, as you can see, I have holes here. Um, I prob I'm not going to put eye bolts there since I have these, but I will be putting eye bolts here, 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 and then two on the back, and then again three on the other side. So love this little chair. It's worked out much better than I thought it would. <laughs> so there you go. Yay, I have a finished product. You can see it's hooked up to the belt. I am pretty stoked. Um, this obviously will be on me, um, but this is uh, how I'm going, I'm planning to uh, lock everything down with bungee cords. Um, these I'm gonna use as runners. Um, I have bolts and I have some holes drilled inside. And the angle iron will go something like this, with this being down on the bottom. And that will provide me with a way to keep this thing tracking so it doesn't like go down a hill. Um, I also have these two um, eye bolts that are on the ends here. 
and I'll be able to attach a rope to the back of that to have someone walking behind me in the event that uh, we're on a steep hill and it wants to go down the hill and uh, with me with it. Had that happened before, it wasn't a pleasant experience um, and I had to drag an 87 pound pulk up a hill, which really sucked. So as you can see, I also have the belt here. I'm not sure about these uh, carabiners. I'm a little worried that they are not robust enough to pull all of this, but um, it's done. I'm pretty happy and I will be trying it out this week. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. Go. Okay, here we are um, getting ready to set up my new sled after uh, last week's debacle with the, with the old sled. And so I've chosen a completely different setup in terms of the hardware for what I want uh, to do to uh, make my connection. So what I have is a couple of things here that I found in the rope uh, department at Home Depot. And I'm going to uh, put these rings on the front of the sled and um, then I'm going to hook a snap connection on it like this. It's a double-sided snap and the idea is when I do that I can then hook one side to my pole, one side obviously to the sled and then you know carry on with with how this connection will work. I'm going to pad the front of this here so you don't have this clanking and and just the the ha, you know the the um you know beating up the sled so to speak. I, I, this is pretty um, sturdy compared to that sled material that was that I was using last week, so I feel pretty confident about it. But nonetheless, I'm going to give it a little extra insurance. Additionally, um, I'm going to use these eye bolts to secure at the front and the back of the sled. Um, I almost pulled that off. <laughs> and the idea is, is that's what, that's what I'll do to, uh, I mean, those are what I will use, if you can imagine, on the eye bolts there to snap my um, netting that secures my load. Uh, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a fail-safe system or a backup system um, in here where I'm gonna add these bolts in the pre-drilled holes that came with the sled where typically you're pulling it with rope for what these things are for. But I'm putting an extra set on here, or an extra setup really, not ideal, just in case we have a failure in this system here that I talked about. So um, that's uh, the idea and a fairly simple setup and we'll see how it works. Yes, ma'am. Good you. job.